today we're looking at cheat layer. It lets you cheat, not on your partner, <laughs> but on websites. And they've also got a desktop version as well. It allows you to automate just about anything that you can do in your browser. Why is this good? Well, it could save you hours. Do you have someone in your company who does the same mundane task every day? Yeah, you could automate it and sack them. <laughs> no, you could automate it and get them doing something else to be more productive. This has got a big learning curve. I'm gonna show you the software, how it basically works. And then they've got a great video as you set up the software, which explains it. Even their short explainer video is 25 minutes long. So have a look at this and then you can make your decisions. Let's jump in to Cheat Layer. Right, so here is Cheat Layer. Here is the screen you get to when you first log in. This is the Cheat Layer dashboard, but the first thing is this pop-up which tells you to install the Google Chrome extension. Click on that, it takes you to the Google Store, and you can see pointing up there that I've already installed the Google Chrome extension. This is the video you need to watch. It's long, 25 minutes. It explains everything. This is the video if you want to install Cheat Layer on your desktop for your Mac. Okay, and it gives you all the instructions here. Uh, and here's all about cheat layer onboarding and this is the action recorder review so rather than me doing a long demonstration video of everything this does I think you have got to watch their videos because they're going to explain it better than me I'll just be honest on this one it's amazing software but this is quite advanced um, I like the way it says welcome cheater <laughs> uh, it's quite funny I'm not cheating honest these are cheat codes that you can get. So, if you want to collect leads in Instagram, you can use the Instagram lead collector. And it's an automation. So you log on to your... I said Instagram then, but I meant LinkedIn. But there is an automation there to collect leads off LinkedIn. We should, we should really try some of these, because I bet these are good. Uh, if you want to scrape products from Amazon. So if your business involves reselling, you know, affiliated. By the way, I've got a, let me snivel now and I've just felt it coming back. So if I suddenly sneeze, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can automatically run the product scraper. There is the code for it. Uh, so these, these are very interesting, these cheat codes. These enable you to do lots of different things. Cheats is an alternative to Zapier for Google Sheets, which allows sending unlimited data. Simply enter the Google Sheets URL. This is software I really would want to, this is the kind of thing I really want to get my head around because uh, it could save so much time. But it is going to have a big learning curve, isn't it? Uh, there you go, a Facebook automation. So group friend, uh, auto friends members to a Facebook group over town, time. So you've got a Facebook group and you want to friend all of those people in the group so you can market to them again. It does it automatically to save you. This is great. I'm loving Cheat Layer. Uh, <laughs> what else could it do? Wow. Group poster. Y you can get the idea on these. Set up a group sheet with groups URL in column A and post your content in column B. So you can post automatically. It's got videos on all of these. I've got to get my head around this. This could save me time and it could really. Um, so yeah, auto swiper, is that for Tinder? <laughs> there you go, who'd have thought? So cheat layer, auto likes Tinder users over time for you. I did used to use that dating app many moons ago and I did just use, yep, 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 yep. It's an odds game, you see. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Um, wow. It can automatically generate blogs. Because it's just the world's going automated. The whole AI thing and um, automation. It, 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 it is an unfair... It's, well, the internet is going to have to sort it out. Because so many are using automation to bulk create websites, to bulk create YouTube videos. It's, it's a, it, it is unfair, and but I guess you've got to try and get your head around it because everybody else is doing it. And until there's a way of detecting that people are doing it and, you know, and giving them bad scores on Google, it will continue. So there's your cheat codes, some fascinating cheat codes, and obviously more of them I would imagine will be added all the time. Here is the documentation, rather than me explain how everything works. 
If it's your kind of thing and you think you can get your head around Cheat Layer, have a good look. Right, and just finally, we're going to jump onto Amazon. I'm going to click on to Cheat Layer. And once it is activated on a page, once you've clicked on it, if you hover over anything, be it the image, the text, anything on the page, you are able to add this to the cheat. Why would you do this? Well, maybe you are an Amazon reseller and, you know, or maybe an affiliate so that if someone buys a product on Amazon that you promote, you know, you get a little bit of a percentage on it. So you hover over the thing you want to cheat on, you press control and enter and it gives you all these options. I'm not going to get too into this now. I'm just going to run through the options, but show you, you can do quite a lot with them. You can scrape that product to Google Sheets or to Google Docs, depending on what you do. So if there's a lot of products you use and you want to gather them quickly, you can do it like that. You can create a click link button or you can download the file. Where, where it's good with the download the file is again, you can get very advanced on this. So you can have different setups so that you might have one setup in your pictures that says Amazon pictures and you click on download file and it's set up to download all of those images specifically to each file. And you can get your head around it and create automation. So it might be automating buying bulk products on Amazon. I'm not going to pretend that I really know where to take this now. And I hope you appreciate that in my reviews. What I'm trying to do is give you a, in all of my videos, give you a, a heads up on basically what cheat layer is that will say, you, you see, you might be seeing this video now and go a bit like me. Here. You might be watching this video thinking, yeah, I like this, but I haven't got a team and I haven't got the time to get my head around, um, you know, working it. So I'm possibly not going to buy it. But on the other side of the coin, you might look at what it can do and it might have just blown your mind and you might understand a lot more about automation than me. So it's pretty amazing. It's called Cheat Layer. Um, it's all about no code business automation. Have a good th read through their website. Click on my link because it is a lifetime deal at the moment. Or if the links are ever updated, uh, it'll always be the best deal for you. Hopefully, we can jump out now and I can give you my final thoughts on cheat layer. So, mind blowing what it can do. Automating tasks could save so many hours for your business or for you personally. If those hours that you save exceed the time it takes to suss it out. Cheat Layer does offer an onboarding experience. I think they charge $50 an hour for it. So if you can't work it out, it might be worth you getting them. Because quite often, once someone shows you the right way of doing things, you can save 80% of the time. How many pieces of software have you battled with for years? And then once you've watched a video on hotkeys and stuff, you think, why did I not do that years ago? Um, but it is pretty amazing stuff. And, well, would I recommend it? I recommend that you give it a try, run through it, and see if it's for you. If you love it, then click on my link. Always click on my link, because you'll get a great deal on it. That is Cheat Layer. I'm going to end this video now, because I'm about to sneeze again. And uh, I will see you for another one next time.